Hi everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. You join us on a beautiful day again today. Uh, a couple of weeks ago we were camping and we were actually camping off grid. Or for those of you who are not too sure of that terminology, it just means that there's no electricity. Now our caravan being built last year, 2020, um, didn't really worry us because our hob and our oven are both work on gas. The heating and the hot water also work on gas and also the fridge works on gas. So we thought, why not? Um, having said that, when we arrived, uh, couldn't get the fridge to work on gas at all. It just kept uh, coming up with an error and a warning. Um, now we spoke to an engineer, uh, fortunately on the day, and um, they told us that it's very common and 80% of the calls they get on fridges not lighting on gas uh, are due to basically reset. Now this can happen purely because if you don't use your fridge on gas um, then things can clog up. So huge advice from uh, engineers, uh, fridge engineers especially, are uh, if you've got a three-way fridge then um, at least once or twice a year uh, just run it on gas for maybe 10 minutes and that will just keep things flowing and uh, you won't have the problems that we had. So I think if we just head over to our fridge and we can explain what we're talking about. So this is our fridge, it's a Dometic, it's a three-way fridge, basically it means that you can put the fridge onto electric, which it's on at the moment, you can put it onto gas, you can put it onto the battery, this is a warning error that lights up if you have an issue. Over here on the right hand side, you've got the temperature control, which is the bottom one. Every time you push that, that will increase or decrease the temperature. And the mode, well, that will put it onto whichever you desire. Now, I say it's a three-way fridge. You've actually got four because you've got an auto mode, which is here. And the auto mode is really the, the one to keep it on all the time. Now, the auto mode, now, when it's on auto, that will literally define which mode it's going to put it on. As a default, it will always go on to electricity first. Um, failing electricity, it will go on to gas automatically if there was a power cut uh, or something had tripped. Now, that's um, it's really handy because uh, if, for example, at night, if, if a Bonnard trips at night and you're asleep, it will save the fridge from bleeping at you, waking you up, and then you have to come along and put it onto the gas mode. So auto, we always leave ours on auto. Just one more thing before we go into how to reset them. Um, I think we've said before, but it's when you first arrive on pitch, always whack the heating, sorry, the temperature control all the way up to full. It's just one bar short of that at the moment. Uh, and that way the fridge will cool down but it's really important to remember that the next day once the fridge is up to temperature um, just turn it down one or two notches because if you don't and you leave it on full then the fridge will just keep getting colder and colder and colder um, and it will suddenly sort of frost up so what happens when you put it on gas and there's an error well the first thing to always try so that's the gas there so the first thing to always do um, before anything else, if it does flash and then that flashes and bleeps, the first thing you can do before anything else is just ensure that you have the gas running through the caravan. The simplest way to do that is just check your hob and just light the hob. If I just open the hob up. So literally just light one of the burners on the hob so for example there, and ensure that it stays alight. If it keeps going out, then it would mean that either you've got an issue or you have run or you are running out of gas. So we now know that we've got gas coming through. So if we put this onto the gas now, I mean, it's not gonna bleed because we have done a reset. So just to give you an idea what will happen. So you can see it's now on gas, um, the back is gonna fire up. If I just put it onto battery, which is that one, it's gonna bleep because the car is not um, connected. So if it was on gas and the gas wasn't working, you'd have the gas one flashing and the warning signal up. Now I just must say, for caravans, this is actually, I'm just gonna turn it off of that. For caravans, their signals, 
the battery is actually it's not the right symbol it really isn't the right symbol it should be a car because if you put it onto the battery it will own that that it only works when the caravan is plugged into the car and the car is running the engine on the car is running it's also worth noting that when you're connected to the car the fridge is not going to cool down it's going to keep the temperature at what it is now you may think well if we've just hooked up for the first time what's the point of putting the fridge on because you're going to travel for maybe a half an hour uh, and the temperature is warm anyway in that but if you have put the fridge on the night before if you're lucky enough fortunate enough to maybe pitch up at home what will happen is when you plug it into the car it will keep the temperature of the fridge of what it's at don't expect it to literally if you're driving for say two or three or four hours don't expect the fridge to be really icy cold when you um, arrive on your destination if it wasn't cold when you started so going back to the reset it's really really straightforward very simple when this is flashing and that's light all you do is just push and hold I'm not going to do it because we've obviously done it on ours you just push the on off button which is here push and hold it about three seconds three to five seconds and after three or five seconds you will hear a bleep once it bleeps let go and that is the fridge reset and as the engineer said to us 80% of issues with the gas is that that actually rectifies it now that has to be we also have to say that that also is on this particular type of um, fridge so hopefully you found it useful and uh, have some wonderful holidays and some nice cool drinks in there as well and uh, until the next time thank you so much to Michelle who's behind the camera and doing a great job uh, thank you very much indeed for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye now